I've had several conversations this month with pastors who feel like failures. They're both leading established churches and they came to me because they didn't know what to do with these feelings. And maybe you feel the same way. And you've spent years, not months, of investing in a congregation with little to show for it. You preached for change, but people still seem indifferent about investing in the harvest. And so your congregation is plateaued at best and shrinking at worst. This in spite of hours of prayer and sermons preached and leadership meetings that you felt like went nowhere. <laughs> you feel like this failure is very personal to you and, and you're thinking about quitting ministry or giving up or moving on. And I wanna to speak to you really directly here today about four things you need to take to heart. And the first and the most important one is that your identity is in Christ, not in your ministry. Do not measure your value to God by the size and progress of your work. But do understand this, that getting to where you want to go as a pastor includes suffering as part of the journey. Paul explains his value about how much he suffered for Christ in 2 Corinthians chapter 10. You know, his credentials as an apostle were all about how much he suffered to accomplish God's call on his life. And he says things like, are they servants of Christ? I'm out of my mind to talk like this. I am more. And he talks about prisons and floggings and exposure to death and shipwrecks and dangers, including that from false Christians. And all that he went without, like sleep and food, while carrying the load of concern for the churches he planted. You need to take this to heart. and You may need to get apart with God alone and talk about this with him or seek wise counsel. Because if you're taking your value out of your work, you're missing what this is all about. Christ is being formed in you. God is conforming you to the likeness of Christ. Understand that, that's the most important eternal thing. The second thing you need to know is that you do not know what you do not know. A lot of times when we get to this point, we have no idea why we are not doing well. And I want to encourage you to invest in your education. You need to find out what you do not know. Go learn some more. Don't assume you've learned everything in seminary. Nobody ever does. Get a mentor who can fill in the gaps, no matter how humiliating this may feel to you. Number three is you need a partner because nobody can do the work alone and not feel crushed. No pastor has all the gifts. Paul always traveled with an entourage. He had Silas and Luke and Titus and Timothy and Zopater and you know, Gaius. All of these people traveled with him. And he did a large portion of the work, but other people did the work too. And so you need to look for somebody who has different gifts from you that can partner with you to build the church that God's called you to build. If you're working solo, this is part of the reason why you feel like a failure because the part that you're doing well is not being supported by somebody who's doing the other parts well. And fourthly, go and do the work of an evangelist. Get out and meet people who God will give you to pastor. The people in your church are certainly your congregation, but there is a larger congregation outside your church that you need to go and sow the gospel to personally and they will challenge you and threaten you and encourage you. But these are the people that God has called you to be the pastor of. I know in my first church, when I went there, it only had 50 people. And for a long time, it didn't seem like we were going anywhere. And so I went out and did the work of the evangelist. I went out and literally farmed the community. And I was seeing as many people outside the church as eventually became part of my congregation. So don't sit and wait for people to show up, go out there, find them, bring them in. This will take away your anxiety of not doing well. This will help you get your focus on the right things.